out in the dusty South Australian outback. Hundreds of kilometres from Adelaide or any major centre sits a beautifully rugged landscape. The state's largest mountain ranges, filled with ancient mountain landscapes, tree-lined gorges, and uniquely Australian wildlife. This is Flinders Ranges. This week I wanted to share with you a recent road trip from Adelaide, South Australia's capital, out to the remote outback of the Flinders Ranges and beyond. This journey takes us a little over 400 kilometres, heading north on bitumen, up away from Adelaide city, through open floodplains and farming country. Past exposed hills and open paddocks, to enter into the Flinders Ranges and iconic scenery of the stunning Flinders Ranges National Park. Offering everything from lookouts, walking trails, drives, primitive outback camping to station stays and eco villas, this is, at least in its dry season, one of the most accessible ways to access and see for yourself this diverse stretch of Australian outback. Moving through the park, even just on a day drive, the lookouts are quite incredible overlooking extensive mountain ranges painted in the oranges and yellows of the semi-arid landscape. Continuing on dirt roads, the park is well maintained and whilst not particularly close to anywhere significant in locality, is surrounded by open spaces and dry riverbeds. The perfect spots on sunset to pull up, enjoy the quiet and camp for the night. Following the coastline, I've found few places you can hang up a hammock, lay under the stars and sleep undisturbed by rain, mosquitoes or even passing traffic. The ability to do this, to me, makes the outback pretty special. Day two of our trip starts with a morning walk into the surrounding hills. Of course, complete with Aussie wildlife and open sunrise views. before a camp breakfast and back on the road today to explore further north from the small town of Glynman along the Glass Gorge Road loop and later further up through the range. Stopping again for lookout views and for wildlife which as expected blends perfectly into its outback home. Paying the premium for heading remote, we filled up and drove on towards Arkalula, a good 140 kilometres of almost straight dirt road. Passing through Aboriginal communities and the Volcathuna Gamma Ranges National Park to reach Mount Jacob Backtrack, a HEMA recommended four wheel drive track 
to jump off the main dirt roads and further into the hills. The track runs one way, consisting of narrow road, riverbed crossings, hill climbs and technical driving. Stopping only to explore dry gorges filled with mica and fossil covered rocks. and overlook the hills standing between the range and the distant salt lake, Lake Frome. Whilst you certainly wouldn't be able to take a conventional car through this trail, this fall driving truly is uncomparable to the steep mountains and slippery terrain of the Victorian high country we spent so much time exploring just last year. Headed off the range, the country flattens into hundreds of kilometres of extensive cattle station properties. The type you can drive in a line for an hour straight without reaching the boundary of. Again, the wildlife here was just beautiful to see. Along with the cattle living in this harsh country environment. With light fading, we end this second day on open plains, absolutely surrounded by sunset colours. Before driving into the dark, full moon on the horizon. Back on the bitumen and camping off the barrier highway, our final day takes us back through a number of small towns and quarantine checkpoint. Again, moving closer to the city. Completing the drive, and in a stark landscape change, we turned down through the Barossa, South Australia's iconic wine region. Lined with extensive estates, vineyards and palm tree avenues, it feels almost as if in another state compared with the outback spaces we just explored. From stunning orange and reds to vibrant green, it's a pleasure to be out exploring and sharing what South Australia has to offer.